Hi guys. Um right. Can give me the spot of looking into stuff. That's where I've been. Tainted blood, an accident, they said. Really? What was it? The blood that that large. There we go. Right. So to start this. Jewelry, and it's a long one. So here we go. We people shut up. We had to roll the clock back quite some way. To eighty years ago, nearly. Um, mm. Yeah, no, that's seventy, uh, seventy seven and a half years ago. So where are we heading, you say? Hepatitis is our first look around. Here's the document, one of many that I'll be referring to. So, what happened? Well, this is Germany, 1946, September the 26th. We know what had happened the year just before that, one and then quite a year since the end of the war, in completion, I know three demos in the gym, but the war had was still rambling on a little bit over that. Um, so this document, let me read it, so it's from the British Archives, dated the 26th of September. September 1946 and it's from um, the Regional Transfusion Centre North Road Crooks Sheffield so what do we have? So back then, um, there was a push for blood for trans for allegedly operations and to support the army and because of um, um, 
um, stern. The case known per area street because I could tell in that um by the area where it was and it was a seven percent chance of a person having had seven what they call serum hepatitis, which now we know to be hepatitis C. Um, hospitals strongly advise that this blood should be used and not wasted. Remember the time period, 1946. Keep that in your head. So, more effort, don't waste nothing. Make your blood blah blah even then to your blood. Um hospitals are strongly advised at this time wherever possible to use any blood left then make plasma wherever possible until the, until the problem of producing plus the free from risk has been solved. It is desirable that the little plasma or serum should be confined to those cases when the administration of oh my god what's wrong with me? To um, save the blood and plus the serum or serum should be confronted in those cases where administration of blood is essential. But the usual whole blood would be less effective or impracticable, such as being certain injuries with hemoconcept. No concentration. Confused. Because no hemophilia apparently had concentration till this late 50s. And this is 
lunchable to go through, but I'll break it down bit by bit. But it was seen pre-1942, pre-1939, I knew about hepatitis C. And not only that, um, there was a thing about the bloodletting in the uh, concentration camps when they killed people. No, I didn't mean in Nazi Germany. And Bayer was the company that Hitler came up with, more or less later. I'm, I'm dealing with it with a bit more reading and a bit more dozing. I think we I'm going to have to get this bit by bit for you and give him it in parts and not all that much. Hey, we got on the material, guys. See you soon.